Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we'll be taking a look at Field Runners 2. This is a simplistic tower defense game from Subatomic Studios. The game just came to PC via Steam, however I do want to let you know that this is also a title available on mobile devices. You can play it on iOS and Android devices, as well as the PSP and PS3 through PlayStation Network. I'm just going to be showing a little bit of gameplay today and covering the basics of this game. Again, it's a simplistic tower defense game, and if you're wondering, Force, why are you taking a look at a mobile game? Well, it's primarily because it just came to Steam, so I wanted you guys to see what this game was about. But also, if you have an Android or iOS device, this would actually be a pretty decent game to play on that platform. I don't think it's the most amazing tower defense game I've ever played, but I do think it could definitely be really fun uh, to play on the go. So let's just go over the basics here. Again, tower defense, so that's going to include me placing down towers and trying to stop waves of enemies from making it through to the end. So we're going to start off there with a basic attacking tower as well as a slowing tower with that glue gun. And as we kill enemies, we accumulate points, and we use those points to place down more towers. Now, what you saw at the start while I was talking and introducing the game was just a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, decision making to do. So you get to decide the types of towers that you want, which you get to purchase as you accumulate coins by working your way through the game. And there's also a specialty item like this mine here that I can place down and that will blow up and do a ton of damage. That was obviously a tremendous waste of the mine, but just to show you what that is. Now, uh, taking a look at the interface, couple of basic stuff here. Uh, currency that you've accumulated to spend on towers right there at the top left. That's an options button if you want to go change the audio settings and stuff. You have the ability to pause and continue. You've got the ability to fast forward if you so desire, which I don't think I want to. I think I'm in trouble here, actually, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have to see these guys are gonna wrap back around and oh boy I'm gonna I'm already failing at tower defense aren't I we're gonna throw down a tower right there okay never mind I'll be fine I was able to take that guy out before he reached the end uh, so yes your towers are down here you've got different kinds we've got a basic machine gun a slowing one a long-range heavy damage dealer also got this igniter here and then that one right over there that's a specialty it's, it looks like an electric probe or something I don't even really know to be honest we'll find out shortly though so these guys are just going to keep on coming, and you just place down the towers. I mean, it's it's very, like I said, it's simplistic. It's a simplistic tower defense game. But if this is something that you would... I wouldn't recommend this on the PC. I'm playing it on that platform because it's the easiest way for me to show you guys this game. But I can see this being lots of fun if you're just kind of goofing around and... You know, on a bus or something. People take buses. I know, I know some people take buses, so if you're one of those people who takes a bus places, <laughs> this will be uh, this will be great for something like that. But yeah, just in terms of PC tower defense games, uh, there are certainly much better ones out there. So we're just going to deal with waves and waves coming through. And I actually want to grab another slowing one, if possible. Throw that right there. Hopefully that buys us enough time here to let our towers take them out. Yeah, it looks like we'll be fine with that. So going to go with uh, this right there. Now, instead of uh, purchasing any more, I'm going to do some upgrades now. So you can upgrade towers up to two times. You can also sell them. And clicking on the question mark tells you with their current upgrade where they're sitting at. So I could get another upgrade for that. So he is maxed upgrade right now, and that's giving him 105 damage per second. Why don't we upgrade this one over here as well a couple of times. And again, as you can see, we can zoom in. Uh, that's just done by scrolling in the mouse wheel. And why don't we just go ahead and start to fast forward this. Now you're going to notice the rounds, it's 9 of 50. So these guys will just keep on coming until we're uh, finished the 50 rounds. If we get that far. That is already one guy. One guy's already gone through. Not a good sign. <laughs> Upgrade that slow tower. Taking on some tanks here now. And also, up there, whenever you get a new enemy type, you'll be able to uh, see that information displayed up there. Oh yeah, these guys are going to get through. No question about that. Eh, maybe we'll get one of them. Eh, 
Yeah, maybe we'll get both. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, gonna upgrade that. Going to get another slow tower right here. And we're gonna go for another basic attacking tower there. And why don't I go... I don't wanna grab another slow. Lord, those little motorbikes are fast. <laughs> so there's really not too much to talk about again. It's pretty basic. It, it's fun. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying this. But yeah. Simple, simple stuff. Keep going here. I should learn to be better at these tower defense games. Stop the motorbikes! Stop the motorbikes! I'd like to save up now to try to get the uh, Big Mama because we've just been looking at the basic tower so far. So we get some flyers here. They just go straight overhead. Wow. Right through. Alright. Big Mamma Jamma here. Gosh darn it! Stupid guys! I'm gonna lose this. I, I still haven't used, uh... Cause I could start just trying to work on using those things, huh? that one right there. Well, we're doing alright, but we're also only out of uh, 20 or 50 rounds here. And why don't we cut this here, and I will show you a new track. Well, after about 15 minutes of playtime, I <laughs> finally made it to the end of this round. Uh, that took an extraordinary amount of time, and is just, uh, just a little ridiculous if you ask me, but... That's just if you were to ask me. I, I I guess this means there's a lot of gameplay here in this game, but man, oh man. Did that take forever? I mean, literally, that took forever. I think I'm gonna make it. We got final wave, final wave here. I got one more bomb. We should be all set. Oh, what is this Mamma Jamma? There we go. That was my last thing. All right, guys, well, this is it. Are we going to make it? That's the question. I got a lot of strong towers here. It will be close, but I think we might be able to do it. I'm just gonna fill in these. And then we'll take a look at a new map. <laughs> Literally 15 minutes of time passed before I got to where we were and where I started picking up that recording, but we ended in victory. Wonderful. No, I do not want to play Endless. Uh, so that's going to open up a new mission and also the ability to call in some airstrikes, I suppose. Uh, here's something that I hate. <laughs> you can earn in-game currency, these coins, by tweeting or going to Facebook, and I just... That is not something I'm even remotely interested in. I, I don't like when... I don't like when games do that. Look, if I like a game, I'll promote it myself. I'm not going to. You don't need to. But this is... A lot of mobile games do this. This isn't like a new thing, so... Alright, so we just finished that level. And again, this is the world map, and that's going to move us on to the next level here. And you can see just moving... Probably you're just going to go from, like, location to location until we make our way to the final area over here. This starting area, that's like the training facility. But let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, other map. This is a sudden death map. I uh, meaning you will be overrun, defeat a certain number of units to pass, then go down swinging. Okay. And we get to, again, decide the towers that we want. Now, we've got some new ones optional for us here that we can add to our array. Um, the Tesla thing, I didn't really do too much. Hive tower, effective alternate to the missile tower. 
Why don't we, uh... Well, you know what? I'll do... I'll get rid of the Tesla one. Decimates rows of field runners. We're gonna go with that. Yeah, why don't we get those ones? Okay, so those are the ones we're gonna pick. You can see there's a whole bunch of... A whole bunch, uh... Some right here that require a ton of in-game currency. You see, that's in-game currency I've got accumulated so far. But these are the towers that I've got access to right now. The only one I'm not using is the Tesla one, I believe. And uh, there's a whole bunch more. Take a look at this. Basically, as you progress through the game, you just unlock these. But there's a ton more, and I can even scroll through with this. I mean, lots and lots of different towers. Which sure is neat, but I can't believe that first level took so long. That's honestly, that that is the first level after the tutorial. And that took forever. So these are specialty items. Looks like I will just do one that I have right here. Yeah. The bombs. And we'll see this new level, and then I think that's probably going to do it for this video. I mean, you know, there's really not much to say about this game. It's, uh, it's pretty simplistic, so... Okay, so there are the attack routes. Field runners are going to come down in a few seconds. I start off with 30 currency here, so these are where I can place my towers. Um, I can sort of force them in a direction. Let's see if we can do, like... They're all gonna, so they're gonna be forced down there like that, huh? And then I'm gonna throw down a glue one right here. So if I were to do that, they'd go through there, but I can... I don't know if I want to funnel them through the center like this, but I guess that's what I'm deciding to do. Alright, so here they come. Whoops. Um, how can I keep them? Oh, so they're just going to do that if it's a straight shot, I see. Well then. This is already, this is already off to a stellar start. So those center guys I'll have go like that. I'm gonna slow these guys up a little bit over here on the corner. And we're gonna throw a slowing one down there. So yeah, basic tower defense guys. This is it. I'm, <laughs> we're just gonna cut this video here. I don't, there's really not much for me to say. There's upgradable towers, you know, and uh, you unlock additional towers as you make your way through the game, but beyond that, it is pretty basic stuff. I guess it's kind of cool that they're throwing these things. Now, like I said at the start, I can see this game being pretty cool on mobile devices, so if that's uh, something that you, you know, it's, that's something that you would even consider doing, then you know, uh, I would definitely give this one a look. I don't think it's that bad. I think I'm going to be fine here. I actually only have three lives, though. I didn't even realize that. You only got... Three chances. I don't have a ton as you do in the other ones. Upgrade these slow towers a little bit, make them more effective. Alright, guys, so once again, this has been a look at Field Runners 2, a simplistic tower defense game from Subatomic Studios. And I think I'll be okay. Slow these guys up. Um, I do need to let you know, though, this is something that really frustrated me when I looked into it. If you buy this game, on the phone, so if you buy this, say for your iPhone, it costs 99 cents. If you buy this game on the iPad, it costs 4.99. If you buy this on the PC, it costs 9.99. So they're scaling up the price based on the platform. It's the same darn game, as far as I know, unless I'm, unless I don't know. But that's really annoying. I don't. I am not a fan of the fact that they are charging more based on the platform that you're playing it on. I think that's pretty scummy, to be honest with you. I do not approve. But anyways, that's that. This has been a look at Field Runners 2. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like the content, please subscribe. As always, keep watching and keep owning.